now you have to find the magnetic field due to a current carrying long solenoid so that is along the axis we just discussed that formula that b is equals to mu zero n i now we will just prove it over here so definitely the current is flowing through that your solenoid so that solenoid consists of your wire so it is in the form of that your coil yeah and definitely it is going to produce the magnetic field along the axis so what i will do i will just consider one small part of that your coil yeah or that section of solenoid which is nothing but the a b c d obviously that has to be closed loop and then simple you have to apply that ampere circuital law so which is b bar dot dl bar which is nothing but mu naught into i so again you can see that so there are four parts a b b c c d and d a so the maximum magnetic field is exist along that axis of solenoid which is nothing but passing through its center and that is nothing but for your a b so the magnetic field that term b bar dot d l bar is exist for your a b now then for c d you can say that the direction of b is actually and the direction of c d they are perpendicular so it becomes zero similarly for d a also it becomes zero yeah and again for c d it is negligible because since the magnetic field is maximum along its axis so it is this c d is nothing but far away from that axis so the field is also very negligible in that case so for this case so again you have to just find that magnetic field so simple that b bar dot d l bar i will say that yeah again i will say that for this a b the field is constant and this is the length so let's say the entire length for this solenoid you can say that so this total length it is nothing but the l and again i am just saying that so which is b l is equals to mu zero now i will say that so what is the value of that current so then i can say that the value of current is nothing but the depends on the number of turns also yeah so that definitely it depends on the number of turns per unit length so let's say that the current is going to flow through that your wires yeah so that is nothing but the through the turns so if there are n number of turns per unit length so that small n is nothing but the number of turns which are nothing but the per unit length and again i can say that the total length is l so the total length you can say it is l so the current is going to flow for n l times the current is going to flow for n l times so this bl you can say this is mu zero then n l i then again l l get cancel and you will get the value of b which is mu zero n into i so that is the magnetic field along the axis the simple thing is that obviously the magnetic field is maximum along the axis and that axis is going to pass through the center of your all the coils so here it is the maximum and this cd is obviously far away from that axis so the field is almost negligible at that cd and again for ad and cb we just discuss that since it is perpendicular the field due to this parts becomes zero so this entire closed surface that the field maximum exists for the that part ab which is along the axis and its expression you can write it down that b is equals to mu zero n i yeah that n is nothing but just we define number of turns per unit length then after that again the next one so that we have to calculate over here is nothing but the next case that is because of your toroid yeah so this is also called as a kind of toroid means simple now the solenoid if you just bend that solenoid it is nothing but the forming the shape of your toroid again the current is going to flow through this your coils yeah and again you can see that the part which i have shown by this dotted line so which is forming the magnetic field along this your axis of this coils and in short it is forming one complete circle in short it is forming one complete circle so what is the best thing that we can do so just apply that ampere circuital law over this entire that your closed circle 
so the same thing that we can do that is the integration of b bar dot dl bar and again which is nothing but the mu naught into i fine again now you can say that the value of b is constant at any point on this entire surface so b is constant again the length that is nothing but the dl so that i can say that so the total length for that toroid is nothing but the l yeah and again mu naught and the current is going to flow for n number of times that is if there are n number of turns yeah and this total length obviously which is nothing but the total circumference which i can write it down that is a 2 pi r again mu 0 n into i so this b is equals to mu 0 and i upon 2 pi r Fine. So again, this one you can further simplify it. That is a mu zero, then small n into i. Again, that small n, the same thing we have defined the number of turns per unit length. That is n is equals to total number of turns upon total length. So which will give the value of your small n. Again, the expression for both the toroid and solenoid, which you are getting the same. That is b is equals to mu zero and i.